Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be diving into our favorites and must-haves for teething. So our daughter just started into her seventh month and we've been noticing teething symptoms for several months now actually. Um, but it wasn't until just here recently that we noticed she was actually cutting her first tooth and it has been a little bit ridiculous. Um, it is messing up our sleep schedule, which we didn't even really have one before now, but the, the amount that she was sleeping is totally a mess now. Since it's been so rough for us going through this teething phase, I definitely wanted to make a video to let you guys know what some of our favorite products have been to help us get through it. So let's get into the video. So before I get too deep into this teething recommendations video, I wanted to give a shout out to one of my favorite YouTube channels. Her name is Jessica. And if you guys haven't checked out her channel before, I will link everything down below in regards to her channel, her Instagram. You guys should definitely go give her some love and subscribe to her channel. She is also a mom and lifestyle channel and so she produces a lot of really similar content she's so kind and funny and energetic I think you guys will really love her so definitely go check out her channel and tell her I sent you so the first thing I wanted to talk about with you guys is the ways that we knew my daughter was teething so like I said we've been going through this for about a couple months now and she really is just teething or chewing on everything she can possibly get her hands on um, it used to be her hands a lot, um, but now it's just literally anything. So anything that's in front of her is going to go in her mouth. And we also noticed a major increase in her drooling. Um, I've even noticed a little bit of like redness in her cheeks. And we never had any fevers or anything like that, thankfully. Um, but I also noticed just a lot of increased in fussiness. She's usually just a really happy baby. And um, so when she, you know, is really fussy and I can't really figure out what's going on um, in regards to all of those other symptoms, we kind of knew that she had definitely started her teething phase. Now we can actually see where some of the teeth are actually coming in. So that was kind of like the final stamp of teething phase for us. Um, and then we talked to our pediatrician, we talked to our pediatrician and she said that really once you start seeing them, there's no way to tell how long it's going to take for them to come through. So, so our first recommendation of course is going to be teething toys. So like I said, our baby is teething on everything. And so it's nice to have some toys that are actually meant for teething that we can give to her that may be more comfortable to teeth on than, you know, just her regular toys or my hands or, you know, whatever else she's teething on. So we have several and I'm going to show you all of these because you guys, my daughter really likes to have options, I will say. So sometimes she gets bored with one of them and I need to have another one ready to go to give to her to kind of keep her happy, happily teething on one of them. And then also, I, you know, I keep them in my car. I keep them in my diaper bag. I keep them in her room, our room, so that I'm not like searching for that one teething toy that we bought and I can't find it. Or if you're out and um, you know, you drop one and it's super dirty and you can't clean it. Like you're going to want to have other options. These aren't actually all of our teething options. I even have more, but these, um, are some of our favorites and the ones I'm going to um, recommend to you guys today. So the first one is actually this Dr. Brown's cactus teether. It is just really strange. And when we saw it at the store, I was like, do I really, I mean, that looks kind of weird, but it's really cool. It's one of her favorite ones. It has different, um, options to teeth on so the full cactus these little nubbies the arms they have different textures on them so she really loves this and it's kind of easier to hang on to we of course have the chicken wing she really didn't like this um, in the beginning but it's kind of grown on her i think it's because it's a different texture um, again a little bit easier to hang on to of course we have some of like the water or gel teething rings um, and these are the ones that you can make cool. So put them, I think in the freezer or in the fridge, we just put them in the fridge and then um, they get cool and it feels good on their gums to teeth. So we've got two of those. I've got these little, um, like they were um, linkable teething rings. So it actually came in like a, five, a set of five and different colors. And these again, really easy to hang on to. Of course, just some generic like uh, rings 
easy to play with and hang on to. We have the Keys Gel Keys, so she really likes those. They have the option to have a little bit of the gel um, that you can make cold. And then lastly, a wooden teether. And this one is one that we got from a shop on Etsy and has little reindeer. So it has little um, silicone teething beads, but then also a few actually wooden pieces that are really nice for them to chew on. The next item I'm gonna recommend is washcloths. So just any kind of generic washcloth. We actually have organic ones from Pottery Barn Kids. I would link them below, but um, I'm pretty sure the pattern has been discontinued, but anywhere you want to get organic washcloths or just regular washcloths, what you do is you wet one of the corners, put it in your freezer or put it in your fridge to make it really cold and then let them chew on the wet edge of that washcloth. A lot of times people recommend like wetting an entire washcloth and putting that in the fridge or the freezer. And I find that when you do that and they're chewing on it, it just makes like their whole front of their onesie or whatever sopping wet. And I'm sure that's a really cold to hang on to. So that's why I recommend just a corner of it or a part of it. That way it's not giving you all those problems. The next thing that we've used that we really love um, for my daughter's teething face are these little teethers. Um, they're like teething biscuits. These are by Plum Organics. They actually have like three different flavors, I think. So these are the banana with pumpkin. And I really like this brand because it's organic, non-GMO, and also it's made in Italy and then distributed in the United States. So um, a lot of the teething biscuits are made in foreign countries and I really feel like you have to be careful with where you get your products. Um, a lot of them aren't organic and um, so that's something that's really important to us. So why we got the Plum Organics brand. Um, and then this is the baby set um, of biscuits. They have different levels. So there's baby, crawler, tots, different levels. So you have to be really careful when you look for those. Um, but yeah, she really loves teething on these and using these as a snack. The next recommendation I would have is kind of similar to the other teething toys, but it's a little bit different. It's one of these um, gummy gloves, or this one's in particular is called the Mini Mitt. And it basically has little nubbies on the end of a hand and it's a glove. So you can put this on their hand. She um, has actually kind of outgrown this. Um, the size of the hand is just a little too restrictive for her, but she still loves to chew on these nubbies in particular. So if you have a baby, like I said earlier, that really tees on their hands, like their fingers, something like this is really awesome because then it gives them, again, like an actual teether. My daughter would chew on her hands, on her fingers, and then like bite herself too hard and upset herself. So this is something that I think would help avoid some of that. So all of those recommendations, I would consider all natural. A lot of times I see videos or recommendations online of people recommending homeopathic remedies or other all natural items. Um, you have to be careful, again, with those. Similar to what I was saying with the teething biscuits, you don't know where those have been manufactured, or maybe you do, and they're not FDA regulated a lot of times. So therefore, the regulations that are imposed upon those products maybe aren't as high um, and restrictive as maybe the FDA would like them to be or the United States would like them to be. Um, all of that is kind of a recommendation that I've gotten from my pediatrician to kind of avoid um, over-the-counter drops, gels, tablets, those things, because because of that reason. You, you just don't know um, what they contain exactly or how it could affect your baby. Um, and so all of our natural remedies don't really involve them consuming something besides the teething biscuits that we've already kind of discussed as why we chose those. Um, but again, I just, I know a lot of people recommend that and they think it's great because it's termed all natural, but um, food for thought on those, you guys. And then the last recommendation that we have that we have been using is both children's Tylenol and children's Advil. So that may be controversial to some, but like I said, our teething phase has been really intense. And the only way that my daughter was able to receive some relief is by using those medicines according to our pediatrician's recommendation. And I know that that, you know, for me too, is kind of the last option 
in regards to helping them with teething pain. Um, but it is a recommendation, it is there, it is something you know that you could use based off of your baby's age, your pediatrician's recommendations, all of those things. So that is um, kind of our final go-to for teething. That is it for today's video, you guys. I will link as many things that I can find down below in the description like I always do. Let me know, are you guys going through the teething phase two? Have you been through it? Do you have other recommendations? Let me know down in the comments or reach out to me. We can get each other through this phase. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time. Bye.